Hi, hi. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Nice to hi. see you. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Are you better, Pedro? Yes, I'm, I'm better. Thank you. Excellent. Sometimes what you need is resting, right? And that helps. Yeah. Yes, it's true. <laughs> that helps a lot. Give me a second. I'm too far from the table. Now it's much better. Well, let's see. We're going to check that everybody's is here. <laughs> hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you? Preparing my coffee. It's time. Oh, getting ready, getting ready, the bite <laughs> Yeah. Do you want a cup? Yeah, I already drank chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. I'm missing coffee for later. I guess I will need one. But for the moment, I drank uh, chocolate. That was. Okay, let's see. Uh, Adolfo, present. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No está Adriana María. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Present. Okay, thank you, Sofía. Let's see. So, Anna? Present teacher. Brenda? Brenda? No. Claudia Guadalupe? Claudia. Okay, Cruz Antonio. Cruz. David Alexander. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, no. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Teacher, today I will be listening. Ya veo mi cara, mira. Ok, Carly. Mauricio, present. I can hear you, teacher. Hmm? I can hear you. Ok. <laughs> present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Carlita, nice picture, the one you share. Yes, I am arriving to San Miguel. The, the, the volcano is, is normally today? <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, uh, it's there, are, there are many eruptions. ¿Cómo se dice erupciones? Yeah, it is uh, bursting. Bursting ash. Uh, and the picture I sent, uh, 
Yeah, you can see yeah. that. Going up. It's, a, it's a lot ages. And what about the smell, Carlita? Uh, I don't know. I I I I I can smell when I work because I am a fair. You are far. Yes. Okay. But 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 today because I I travel for San Jorge. Uh -huh. and the volcano can see very well. Yeah, it looks amazing. Mm. Looks amazing. Yes. Picture, beautiful picture. Whenever I travel uh, and I and there is a volcano, I always try to catch. But but you go to the very very right location. You were in the very right location for that picture. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Hi, teacher. Hi. Present. Excellent. Pedro Luis. Present, teacher. Nice. Saul Edgardo. Saul. Sulma Yanet. Present, teacher. Nice, nice. Sulma, Victor. Victor, Victor. Present, present teacher. Okay. Eh, Fernando Enrique. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, great. Anybody enter after I call you? Yeah, I guess so, right? Because I see more people now. Adriana Maria, no. Vamos a ver. Eh, Adriana María, Brenda, José Alfredo, Saúl. Present teacher. Okay. It's nice. But well, as I was telling you today, you're going to be, uh, we're going to be talking about transitions, right? Transitions and some issues related to warehouse. Yeah. So you're going to tell me a little bit about those issues that you think you may face in the warehouse. We have been talking about that, right? Okay, now I'm going to share the presentation with you and I will need volunteers to share, right? Just let me make it bigger for everybody to be able to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. 23rd, unbelievable, we're about to finish a November, imagine. And then when December comes, that's really, really flying. Let's see, moving. Okay, check. The, the title is Identify Common Issues Related to Warehouse Processes. So we're going to be talking about issues, right? Issues related to warehouse processes. And the, of course, the, the, the objective, I have been working with the program achieving indicators myself. Okay, the objective is participants will be able to provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehousing processes. So what are those issues? What suggestions can you give to solve those issues? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, to begin, to begin, we're going to choose volunteers or victims 
to talk about the most difficult topic in life. So you will tell me about you and your job. One minute time. Hmm. Where is my phone? Let me see. Okay, so one minute talking about you and your job. And if you say, oops, I still have time and I don't know what else to say about my job, you can add something that you like. Why do you like your job? Do you like it, right? Hmm? <laughs> so tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you do, uh, what you would like to do, what would be your dream job. So whatever you can tell me about your job. So the idea is to make a minute, a minute talk. Let me get a bomb here. Like uh, introductions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Vamos a ver. 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 So you have to trust that I'm giving you one minute. Okay. <laughs> no way. No way, no way. Let me say it. I'm going to program it for one minute. Bah. Who will be my first volunteer? A big thing. Uh, me, if you want. Okay, perfect, Adolfo. As okay. Soon as start talking, I start the time. Okay. Now, hello, everybody. My name is Adolfo Barrios. I was born in Nejapa, San Salvador, and I live, and I live here, and I live in Nejapa. I, I am a professional. Um, food security and agriculture science. And I work for, for the public institutions um, in the local government of, from Nehapa. Um, I, my, my favorite hobby is, um, it's a take pictures to the nature and I love play and, and I love play soccer, soccer only. And now I am learning English in this program of INSAFOR and, and I, because I need to. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Finish the idea, yes. Yeah. Okay. You say because you need the <laughs> I'm yeah. interested. Finish, please. Finish, yeah. Okay, great. Okay, Adolfo, choose, choose, choose another victim. Another victim, the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Okay, David. Are you there, my friend? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As this clock makes no noise. Now. Yeah. I'm going something. to, uh, when I clap, that means your time is over. Okay? Uh, okay. But then okay. you start. Okay, good. My name is the David Rodriguez. I work in the logistics in the area in the distribution of the department. Um, I am a warehouse manager for Dollar City. And I am responsible the, for the managing the uh, entire international operation. 
the warehouse is located in in a street for Santana City. And uh, the name of the warehouse is the Orion, is the more small in the Central American for the for the moment. And um, uh, we have the operation for uh, for five countries: is El Salvador, Guatemala, Peru, and Colombia, and the international warehouse for Canada and Panama. Um, that's it. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you. You see how many things you can say in a minute, right? Okay. Yeah, David. Who's next, David? Que me vuelva a ver. Nobody will do because they don't want to. No le voy a decir las iniciales. Rosa Hilda Escobar. <laughs> As you said, who sees you, if Rosie was like this. Yeah, Ro Rose has a, <laughs> I don't know, some appeal. Rose is fiery. She was trying not oh, to, oh. Speak, right? Okay, Rosie, do you tell me when are you ready? Maybe, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my name is Rosa Hilda. I have been working in 12 years in the pharmacy San Roque. There are 23 branches on the Western level. In my work, I, I am in charge of purchases medicine. Um, I do a lot of negotiation, negotiation. What I like most about my job is that I talk to many people. Uh, in October, we celebrate the third anniversary of the pharmacy. We spend the whole moon eighty cake all, all month. Oh, very good. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Thank teacher. you. Thank you very much. Rosie, who's next? Teacher no se acuerda quién sería primero. I guess it was Alberto. Ah, pues Alberto, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ok, lo sospeché desde un principio. Uh, <laughs> ok, um, well, uh, my name is Alberto Baños. I'm a salesman. I work for Selco El Salvador, que it's a company uh, that manufactures uh, paints and distributes, distributes them uh, throughout Central America. Um, we <laughs> we we will sell uh, our products um, to the hardware stores. We have commercial paints, um, uh, products like a uh, latex oil, anti corrosive, uh, fast drying, and uh, pool paint and finishes for wood. And my work is uh, visit our clients or our customers, common customers, and offer our products and uh, assessorar. Uh, give us assessor. assessor. uh -huh. Give assessories and uh, looking for a new customers in the west of uh, our country. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's next, Alberto? Uh, Fernando. Fernando, hello. Uh, okay. <laughs> there she goes. Uh, my name is Fernando, and I work in a financial institution. 
I am in charge of evaluating potential clients and giving them credits based on, uh, on their business. I am also in charge of, of collecting uh, those credits uh, yes, uh, either daily or weekly. It's, uh, it's a little bit stressful because sometimes clients don't pay on time. And that's where the problems, problems come from me because uh, I spend uh, more gasoline by visiting them more than once a day. And that's practic practically what I do. I like my job because uh, I have time to pay bills and stuff during my, uh, my laboral time. Okay. Um, I, I also know many people and and I can connect them to do business. Okay. It's, it, it's hard to find good clients, but but I like what I do. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see, choose the next one. Who's going to be next? Uh, let me see. Um, uh, Peter. Pedro Luis. Okay. Um, well, my name is Pedro Luis Morales Magaña. I work in a company named uh, Inversiones Didáctica. Uh, the company, I am, uh, I am a strategic directory, director of the company. Uh, I see all the uh, st uh, strategic plans and operative plans and all the, uh, all to how to do, to how to relate it with that. And the company works uh, in informatica, uh, uh, informatic <laughs> computing, <laughs> distributors, Equipment such as laptops, desktops, uh, uh, smart screens, etc., and software uh, such as um, license for some tools uh, to the computers and companies in uh, all these for companies in general, but mostly uh, to uh, educational institutions. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Pedro, who's next? Let me see who is in, in line. Um, Sulma? Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, my name is Sulma. I live in San Salvador. I've been working in Grupo Ternova uh, for five years as a, a customer service. Uh, we are working uh, home office uh, is until the the pandemia start and we go to the office once a week. And I am in charge to tracking purchase orders to the customers and, and order planning, try to, to bring up the order planning to be ready for the customers. It's Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Who's next? Sulma? Uh, next. Ana Alicia. Ana. Alice. Ana. Good evening. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, my name is Ana Valle. I'm 46 years old. I work in San Salvador. 
in a school. I'm a teacher. I teach kids from four, six, four, three to six years. I'm, I like dance and sing. And I am learning English because I have to improve my, my English <laughs> and abilities. Continue, continue. You have time. Well, I I love to read when I have the space every night. I love to watch movies. <laughs> In, in the nature, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> que minuto más largo, teacher. <laughs> yeah, so long. Ahorita. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ana, who's next? Mm, cuento cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Eh, cinco, Fernando Enrique. Fernando. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. I'm already passed. Ya, ya, ajá. Víctor Manuel. Ok, Víctor. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready. Thank you. Ok. My name is Víctor Argueta. I am from Mora Sands, El Salvador. Really, Victor? Yeah, um, but I live in San Salvador. Ah, okay. Yeah, I work for um American company. That is, uh, the operation is in USA. And here has um, a office, a administrative, yes, a branch to the administrative operation. We, we are the, the support. So I am in charge of the financial control. I I have to to do the planning, budget, and balance sheet and, and profit and loss every month and every week with the cash flow planning. So that is that is very important to know how how cash is available at the end of the week and at the, at the initial, the start. The beginning. At the beginning, at the next. I don't know how it's going the time. Time or? Time's up. Okay. I have a question. So if you work for an American company, that means that you are free tomorrow, right? Um, or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Tomorrow on Friday. Yes. Nice. My daughters too. They are <laughs> tomorrow on Friday. Oh. But so my... that <laughs> that is the um, when here is a holiday, for example, November two, uh, we have to work. Yeah, you have to work. I know. Uh, yes. For example, May ten. Mm -hmm. Um, September 15, we have to work. The Holy Week, August vacation. Yes. Yeah. yes. Only uh, the, the, the president, the day of the president. Yeah. Right? But there, but there is uh, some holiday uh, like like here, for example, um, Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. It's in yes. yes, Independent. Uh, July 4, for example. Uh huh. You have a day off on July 4. I that, celebrate that is but good. I, yeah. Yeah, that's a good because we have free and all institutions like bank are, are available. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. That's nice. That's, that's nice. nice. Okay. Just one last volunteer. Well, well, volunteer. <laughs> The last one, Victor, who's going to be the last one? Okay, I'm going to choose um, uh, my dearly friend, Nubia Sulema. Yeah, I knew. 
<laughs> and I guess Nubia too. She was like, <laughs> yes, we can. We, <laughs> we knew we perfectly knew it was going to be Nubia, right? <laughs> Nubia, you fine. Yo, por más que me. Ajá, ya. Piche. I am volunteering. Eh, vaya, Carlita. You go after Nubia, Carlita. Vaya. Ah, vaya. ok. Nubia's minute, <laughs> and then we'll listen to Carlita. Okay. ok, my name is Nubia Cortez. I live in San Salvador. I have a degree in marketing. I work, I work in sales. Um, the comp in the company uh, making all uh, kind of signs, rotulus. Uh -huh, signs. Uh, uh, from adhesive vinyl to 3D lighting. Um, I work uh, in the area, uh, construction area, the supervisor. Um, in the company, it made um, it in study, uh, falls uh, sailing, um, drywall walls, um, uh, structure metallic structures, metallic structures. Okay, thank you, Novia. Yes. Thank you very okay. much. Now it's Carlita's turn. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Carla Leiva. I live in San Salvador, by, uh, but I work in San Miguel in a company in Japanese, a Japanese company in chairs of consulting and design in, in construction, wow. and I, I was, uh, I, I am working in a supervision of, of Bypasser San Miguel, and I am architect, but I am working like administrator of the project and um, in administrator of the contract since three years ago, but I work a 18 years with a uh, Italian company in chairs in construction. Wow. And I work in construction of uh, highways, um, buildings, um, dams, and in 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 I work in many areas like quality control, like drawing, like design and construction. Excellent. Thank you, Kalicha. Thank you very much. You answered the question I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you if you were a civil engineer, but you answered my question that you are an architect, right? Yes, but I work more in civil project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I thought you were an engineer. Wow, in my no. making how highways and, and roads and things like that. Excellent, very good. Okay, well, we will continue here. We couldn't listen to all of you, but we will listen to some others tomorrow, okay? Well, uh, today we're going to, to start mentioning transitions a little bit. We're not going to enter on detail because remember we said we're going to talk about uh, issues related to warehouse processes, right? So we're going to start talking about uh, transitions. But what is a transition? And what is the purpose of a transition? Como dicen en buen salvadoreño, ¿cómo se come eso? 
<laughs> right? What is a transition? Check. They function as signs that tell readers how to think about something, right? How to think about, organize, and react to old ideas and new ideas as they through or as they read through a document, right? The transitions help you achieve these goals by establishing logical connections between sentences, paragraphs, and sections of your papers. Uh, for example, in some cases, we are going to use a, a transition to connect one idea with another one in the same sentence, right? But in some other cases, we are going to use the, the transitions to connect one paragraph with another paragraph, yeah? Or if we have a, a longer document, we can use transitions to connect one section of the paper with another section. And check what is, that is a, when you write the, you write a text, you have to know that you have to use these types of words or phrases. We're going to see that in some cases they are phrases, not just words. A word is one, right? But if you have two words together, that becomes a phrase. Yeah, so we're going to see that later on. And check, transitions tell readers what to do when the information you present to them, or with the information, sorry, you present to them. So they tell you if what I'm going to share with you is an example, if I'm adding extra information, if I want you to contrast the first idea with the second. So that is the purpose of the transition, to tell you what to do with the information I'm giving you, with the one I gave you, with the one I'm giving you. And that's why you see this, when it says that's the connection between old ideas and new ideas, right? So I already told you something and then I'm telling you something else. I want you to relate this idea with the other one that I'm telling you. And for that, you need a word that is connecting the two ideas. And you will see this. Uh, when we talk about transitions, there are different types of transitions. Of course, in this uh, course, we're not talking about all of them. There are some of them that we already mentioned in some other courses. For example, uh, this one, sequence for order transitions. We have already used them. We have first, second, third, next, then finally. This, we used it when we were describing processes. Uh, remember when you describe a process, there is an order, right? There is a sequence of events. So for that situation, we use transitions of sequence or transitions of order, right? Uh, we, I'm not mistaken, we have also used transitions of example, right? For example, for instance, namely, specifically to illustrate when you are narrating something, imagine we say mm, there are many business jobs in the area. To illustrate this, we want to talk about a salesman, right? So you can give an example using these words. So what am I going to do with the information that you're giving me? You're identifying an example because, you, you, because I'm using the expression. For example, for instance, namely, if you're just giving the name of, 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 the, of the word you're using as an example, specifically 
if you're talking about some general information, but then you're going to go to something specific, we use this specifically. Oh, you want to give an example of something and then you say to illustrate. That doesn't mean that you're going to show a picture, right? You're mentioning something. And then, but the, the, the expression that you use in that case can be to illustrate. We have also talked about a place of position, right? So we have used above, adjacent, below. If you see some of these are part of being transitions of place and position, they are also prepositions of place, right? That's the case of above below, done, in front, in the back. These are also ex a prepositions of location, right? And when we talk about place, these become, as I am using them in the text, they can become transitions of place or transitions of position. Mm -hmm. And let's see, we have also talked about this one, talking about addition. I don't remember if it was um, level one of intermediate, I guess. We were talking about some of these transitions. In this sequence of order that was in the beginners, level four or six, something like that, when we were talking about the processes of how to make chocolate. Do you remember hmm? how to make chocolate? They were describing all the process and then you were using this, okay? And at the beginning of intermediate one, we were using additional uh, transitions to express addition. Remember that when we want to add something, we use end, right? that we cannot be using N all the time. We need to use some other expressions. And what will happen if I'm telling you a lot of things and I'm using only N? You can use N to join a sentence, right? With another, one idea with another idea, that's okay. Two ideas of the same type, or two affirmative or two negative ideas, but I cannot use an affirmative and a negative, right? But sometimes if I want to connect a longer sentence, or if I want to connect a paragraph, or I want to add not just one thing, if I'm adding one thing and another, I can use an. But what about? If I want to repeat something that happened, imagine I tell you uh, two years ago, the Chaparastique volcano was erupting and throwing some smoke and ash. And again, this year, it has begun to throw ash and snow uh, and smoke again, right? Again, this year I'm connecting the old idea with the new one, right? So I'm relating and adding, and that's why we're talking about additional, right? I'm adding the first idea that I gave about something that happened some years ago to what's happening now, right? We can use also, um, for example, additionally or furthermore or in addition, moreover, these are like the most common, if we can say, when talking about very formal English. If I'm talking about one idea, but I already used N, I cannot use N again. So I can say, well, you have been with me for how many months? About how many months? Additionally to that, we have passed through different processes together. Furthermore, we blah, blah, blah. So we, you see, I already used in, I use additionally, and I use furthermore in the same sentence. But I cannot be using only in 
and 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 so anytime you want to add a new idea to that same can be a sentence or paragraph you will be using a different translation okay it's like in every topic that we have always learned that we should avoid repetition right monotonia cacophonia all those things were should be avoided and in english when we say monotonia it's repetition so it is very important to avoid repetition i cannot be using n n n or just in addition so what i do is that that's why i have different transitions that i can use in different situations or adding every time another one right or not using always the same one that's talking about addition another a uh, translation that we were using if i'm not mistaken also in the intermediate one was talking about contrast remember we have always said if i have right positive negative that means I have one idea that is positive and one that is negative, there is a contrast, right? Or if I have one idea plus a negative and then another positive, the same, I have a contrast, yes? So if that's the, 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 the case, the transitions that I'm going to use are this. So you say, well, children, learn by playing by playing and singing on the other hand adults learn by reading and watching listening and writing right so on the other hand i'm contrasting the way children learn with the way adults learn right that if i want to use addition remember i have two negative ideas or two positive ones. Then I make addition. So I will say children learn by playing and singing. In addition to that, they need to change activity every five minutes. Moreover, you can show them a video, but it shouldn't be too long or ask them to stand up and move, right? So I'm using one, two, three. And if I want to add something else, I can go for furthermore, right? But check, remember, positive, negative, joining one idea, one positive idea with one negative idea, I'm going to use contrast. Mm -hmm. One negative idea joined with a positive idea, I'm going to use contrast. That if I want to, if I want to, to express or to join one negative and one negative idea, I use addition, right? Or one positive and one positive, the same, I use addition. Mm -hmm. I guess we have also used a uh, transitions of time before. Yes, you have after. After what means like after similar to after that. At last will be mostly to to as you're mentioning or describing a sequence. And that would be like the last thing, right, to mention. Or you can have before, remember last course, we were using before and we were using after, right? Before coming to work, I take a shower. Yes, first I take a shower, then I go to work. After getting to work, I have breakfast because I have breakfast at work. Mm -hmm. Hmm? So we use them when we talk about time. 
we express that one thing happened first and then another one. Remember, we use meanwhile when we are expressing that there is a period in between and during that period that is between is something else may happen. If you use simultaneously, you're talking about two things going on at the same time, right? If you say, if you say subsequently, you're talking about one thing that happens after another thing finishes. Yeah, it's similar to then or after, okay? But the one that brings us uh, to work is this one. Yeah, cause and effect or result, right? Uh, we have transitions of result. What is the result or what is the effect of something? We have accordingly, consequently, that like a consequence of this, this is a consequence of the other thing, right? So is one of the most common that we use. For example, if you say, well, I was very tired, so I went to bed early. I was very hungry, but I didn't have time to prepare food. So I ordered something, yeah? I ordered something from the restaurant. So this is like the most common transition. So to express cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the vocabulary because we're going to be using it later on. And then I'm going to share some example of the transition before we go to the, to the point that you're going to be working today. And remember, the develop of transitions of results will be tomorrow. Tomorrow we will dedicate completely the two hours to work with the transitions to express cause, effect, and result. Okay, look at these words. What do you know? What do you know about inborn processes? What is layout and slotting? What is managing returns? What is picking? What is chipping? And what is packing? Yeah, what do these words mean? Uh, inborn processes, you know, right? Do you remember? What is inborn? Mm -hmm. uh, inborn process is uh, when you bring uh, bring the product to your to your warehouse or something like that. Uh huh. Exactly. Receive goods. To receive yes. the goods, exactly. So the inborn is the entering or how can we say? The entering of the process to your to your warehouse, right? But then we add to it process. So what is the inborn process? Uh, different activities that describe the, the receiving goods as um, in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what do you do? What uh, all the logistic, right? Of the process of receiving mm -hmm. a product that gets to your warehouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call attendance and then I'm going to give you uh, about five minutes for you to go to the rooms, discuss these questions, find them, check what you know, check what you don't know, and investigate what you don't know before we go to work with the manual. Okay? But let's check attendance first. Let me see. Adolfo, present. Present, teacher. Eh, Adriana Maria. Present, teacher. Yes. 
Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. No está Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. David. Present teacher. Ok. Cruz, Cruz, Cruz. Ok, y David, yes. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio. 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 <laughs> Mauricio, you're sleepy. You're very quiet today, Mauricio. Why? Why? Nubia. My, my little boys are doing noise. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saul Edgardo. Perdimos a Saúl. Zulma Janet. Present. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando. Present teacher. And Rosy. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Vaya. There we go. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Remember what you're going to do is investigate those six words. I'm going to share them in the chat. So you go check, go check, investigate what they mean, right? Good. Alfredo, Alfredo is here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Eh, the words are there in the chat. So I'm going to send you to, to work, discuss what you know, investigate what you don't, and I'm and then I'm going to call you back. 19. Okay. Just let me. Pero que acá de estar no picando las pulgas con las que las han picado ustedes. Va. Y de ahí como que la gran que se trae una pulga de de afuera. Se va a ahogar porque no le eche. Ah no. But jump, join, join. Right to join. Good. Your groups of four and five, right? Groups of four and five. A uh, Mauricio, Carlita, Saúl. Try to join. Nice. Por eso se puede desvelar, vea, porque ya no está en clase. Sí. No, que siempre se desvela. Ay, no. Ok. Ana, it's very dark. <laughs> I always bother Ana. Ana, it's very dark. But that's okay. I know you are in your daughter's bedroom. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> well, maybe we can divide the words. Uh -uh. Maybe I am going. No, 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 no. Discussion, discussion. Work okay. together. Work together. Don't don't divide them. I I was saying just divide the the words to look for the meaning and then we can discuss the share. Uh huh. The meaning. No. Yeah, but like like you go finding them and sharing, right? For not having the silence there while you go and check. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So if you find one immediately, you can share it with your partners. Okay. Inborn oh. processes. Well, I, I have to read it in the internet. <sighs> Inbound. Oh. Vaya, inbound processes, say, the, what is the inbound process in warehouse? The inbound flow, flow in the warehouse begins when items arrive in the warehouse of the company location, either received from an external source or from another company. An employee registered the items typically, typically by scanning a bar. Code from the receiving dock. Barcode. Have you seen the products when you go to the supermarket? Yes. That they have a in some cases it says 395, right? But in other cases you have a bar. Yes. The, the code is, is a bar code. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That, that is even search. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Warehouse activities are performing a different complexity levels to bring the items into the storage area so that is inbound process mm -hmm. in addition the following is internal source documents exist that function like inbound sources. Production orders with output posting in assembly order with output posting. What do you think? Class cohort common? Always in, in inbound processes. Mm -hmm. De ahí dice layout and slotting. Veamos. Track, el, el new inspector inbound and layout is a it, 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 it's a graphic for example when you when you talk about the layout you can ima can, you can imagine all the 
in order steps on the production, right? For example, if you produce if you produce cheese, your layout start or began to uh, to milk the cow, right? Then to receive the milk, then to to pasteur, the pasteurization steps, whatever. Then and the last step is the packaging, right? Um, I'm not sure. But is that part of the inbound process? The inbound when when says uh, layout layout yeah. Adolfo yeah. Uh, I understand is a design of the space uh, where you are going to storage the product. Um, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. That I I understand like layout. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Um. Yeah, it's possible. But when you talk, when we talk about the layout, is um the specific way to the, uh, on the production process, right? On you, the specific steps or, or activities, uh, on the production process in a company. <laughs> is and and we uh, and we talk about the the layout and the slotting. Uh, we can we can say that is the all the activities and raw materials that or all the activities that involve it to the production process. <laughs> yeah, seven to zero. <laughs> oh, right. I heard. Okay, I I agree, uh, Adolfo, that you are talking. Um. Okay. Now the I don't next... know I don't know Ch teacher can you confirm mm -hmm. layout in the layout the process inbounds include for example um furniture that are going to use equipment in the in the warehouse for example some desk uh -huh. what else uh, for layout what definition do you have for layout? The process of planning, designing the best uh, physical arrangement. Mm -hmm. But it is also uh, the arranged buildings or gardens according to a plan. Remember, they make a plan, right? Like Carlita, that Carlita mm -hmm. designs plans. Yeah, that's layout. When you lay out to construct or arrange the building, or the or in this case the the bypass according to the plan. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's like to put everything like this for you to see it. That's one definition of lay layout. I'm going to read you the definition of the. Cambridge Dictionary. It says to arrange something on a flat surface. For example, if I have all the papers that I'm going to use, I'm going to put them in the order that I need to use them on my table. So I'm going to lay out everything. Mm -hmm. That's that's layout. Also, it is to spend money in a very large amount. That's another really? way of using in layout. 
Mm, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember that. Sometimes I I I read similar terms. Yes. When you when you do a trans uh money transference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So okay. When with the meaning of arrange, you have to arrange in a pattern or design to plan something by showing how its parts fit together. That's the layout. Okay. Good. So, dear classmate, what can I do in this case? We have to attend the advice of Mark teacher, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> okay, next. Managing returns. Mm -hmm. Managing returns. Uh, managing is um, is it's a synonymous of of capability, right, or capacity. Yes. So, is if we talk about the returning. Returning, I don't know how to how returns returns mean. Returning. Returns. Mm -hmm. When something come back. Yeah. <clears throat> In this case, about the product, uh, maybe. Uh, it could be about the product or raw materials, right? Especially the product. Especially the products of the products. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, we can talk, uh, it could be a, a kind of or a special inventory in the warehousing, right? Because every product, so every, every goods are returning to the warehouse, uh, require or needs a, a, special, a special managing. Another context, it depends on the context you're using the return. It can also be to give a particular amount of profit. What is the profit that you're receiving? That's the return. Okay. In, in this case, oh, all right. Uh, it's uh, economical terms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. In, in this case, we, we have to take the, we are talking about the, the, economical terms or we are talking about the products according to the context that you have in the book yeah it's about the products you're talking about warehousing processes mm -hmm. yeah it's related to the product or or goods yeah okay thank you teacher okay and you have managing returns, right? That's the that's the, the topic. Yeah. Okay. Now, somebody else wants to talk about wants to give. Contra la orden original, I suppose that is to managing returns uh -huh. because we are talking about devolution managing. Yes. Things need to be checked and loaded, and they are receiving put away in the So we things. have just those. Our book or dispatch without forest storage. Mm -hmm. um, may, maybe number three is inbound process. No. E items need to be checked and looked at 
they are received and put away in the correct spins. For packet for and packet dispatch. For dispatch. dispatch. For for, uh, sí, dice sin, sin necesidad de almacenar, ¿verdad? Mira. That is with the... Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá, sin, sin, sin necesidad de, de almacenarlo. Uh -huh. uh, uh, number four is shipping. No, it's... Yes. Uh, oh. we... No, it's layout. What is layout? Close to each other items that are easily mistaken. Mm. It must be easy for the pickers to ah. find items mm. and their journey time between either return order. Ah, pues order. sí, porque dice que tienen que estar enfrente. Sí, esto tiene que ver con ubicación. Mm -hmm. Layout, yes, sí. yes. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. And slopes. How do you pronounce that? Slope, slow team, slow team, slow team. Say a slow chain. Pro productividad para las ubicaciones del almacén. Mm -hmm. Ayuda al picking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Lie out and so buscarlos. If we found. Uh, if we look up uh, the meanings of the words, it's easy to remember. It's easier to remember the, the meanings because you are remember how do you found in the in internet or in another place. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, in my case, I it's easier if I yeah. look the meaning. Because yeah. I, I can remember um, how I found in the in internet or why. But I, in Spanish or in English? In Spanish. In this ah. case, in Spanish, because okay. oh, all terms are very uh, in a technical uh, way, <laughs> are very technical uh -huh, vocabulary. It's new. Yeah, it's blockchain. I didn't uh, hear about a slot team. About what? It's, ah, a slot, slot team. team. Uh -huh, yes, it's new. It's funny because the words are maybe, are, it's not, no son como desconocidas, pero en yeah. el warehouse tienen otro significado. They have oh, another yeah. meaning. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Slow team. Mm -hmm. And what is the other meaning? Of what? A slow team? Slow team. It, if you but just... not in logistic? I don't know. Uh. I'm looking that. I'm looking this in this moment. <laughs> but if you if you put slow team. Yes. It says that is an activity of a logistic area. Mm. So maybe it don't have another meaning. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Ranurado, this. Yeah. Mm. Nubia said that. Slow. Slowly. Similar insert, put, place, fit. And a slide. A slip. 
uh, be placed or able to be placed into a slot. Transition. New word. Yes. <laughs> it's a new word. Okay. What is a slot? Hi, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> you are there. <laughs> what is a slot? Okay. It's a verb. That is the meaning. I don't know. Uh -huh. Slot is a verb, right? Yes. And it says to put things in a slot. Uh -huh. So what is a slot? Mm. Small slit. This ah, maybe it An elongated aperture or groove, such as one in the vending machine or inserting a for inserting a coin. Ese hoyito. Like when Insertar. You, oh. Uh, el, el, el hoyito. Where you uh -huh. put the coin. In the machine when you the are. Machine. Oh. Ah, la, la ranura. Go to Metro Centro, right? And yes, you that's go, right. Uh, go out with your car. You have to go put a machine, uh, put a coin in the machine. That mm -hmm. a, a pressure in the vending machine is a slot. Slot. Mm -hmm. It's a vertical opening between the leash of the fore sail and a mass of the loaf or another sail. This is a noun, but if you are mm. uh, if, if you are talking about a bear, what is the meaning when you say slot? To fit or adjust in a slot. Es como introducir entonces. Introducir a slot. He is like a coin into the slot of the. To situate or be situated in a series or a scheme. That's another definition, but that's informal. Not, mm -hmm. but maybe the word slotting is just using in this part of logistic, you know, of logistic area. Uh huh. Yes. Sure. Slotting. And how do you pronounce it, teacher? Slotting. Slotting. Ah. Slotting. 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 Ranura. Mm -hmm. Hueco. Right, that's a space. Uh -huh. Slot. <laughs> Slot. Uh -huh. Encajar. Also, that's the slotting. And you're talking about the management, no, the layout and slotting. So when you put everything, check where it fits. Right? You don't throw people ah. so crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you have to see where each of the things that you're going to, to keep uh, fit. Mm -hmm. Because it is mm. related to the layout. Yes. Eh, que tienen delimitados los espacios. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you lay out a group of things, you spread them out and arrange them neatly, right? So when you arrange, imagine the products that you get, you arrange them neatly and you see that they fit exactly in the position where you want them to be. Mm -hmm. That's the laying and slotting. Mm -hmm. No solo spread out them along the, the whole company, like the example yes. we saw of the of the warehouse of the Amazon, right? That mm -hmm. you, that somebody told me, teacher, but finding things there is a mess. 
but they find them because of the robot. But in our case that we do not have the robots and a human has to go find them, the best way is to lay out things in the right way. Yes. Okay. You finish right by Monocha. You're ready. Yes. Nubia? We are all ready. <laughs> we are guests. Hi, teacher. Hi. We did our best. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, checking, checking. Doing what are my things? Teacher, no sé si solo yo no le escucho o todos. I can Everyone. hear you. I don't hear. Dos, dos, dos. Probando uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Ya nos vamos, ya nos vamos. Ah, no, no, así. Present, present. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Sí, good sí. night. We have, we have technical you. problems. Okay. <laughs> atendan, please, atendan. Rosadita. Yeah, atendan, please. Present. Present. <laughs> Teacher, pero en serio, no se escucha siempre. What happened? Eh? No, si sí, ella no es, yo no, creo no se que se fue. Se fue. What happened? Es que, no, si sí está, pero no se está escucha. hablando solita, pobrecita. <risa> <risa> no, ella sí la está hablando. No, 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 no se escucha sí, nada, dice. Ahorita sí todos hablan. <risa> no, 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 todos hablamos, diga. En inglés, please. Yo me quedo. Everybody is talking like a parrot now. Ya, pa ya, ya pasamos yes. la distancia. <laughs> ya pasó el minuto. Because the teacher can speak. Okay. You can hear hasta cuetes estamos reventando acá. <laughs> Yo pensé que era el volcán, tigre. <laughs> Un día de esto. Hey, fíjense que la teacher sí nos puede escuchar, nosotros no le escuchamos a ella. Sí, sí. Correcto, sí pensó que bromeando con ella estábamos. A un principio sí, sí pero no ¿Alguien sé. la bloqueó? Vamos a ver. A hoy sí. Ay, sí. Ay, sí. Ya, 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 hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Atendan, ya, sí. Sí, sí. Yes. Presen. Sí, no, presen, presen. I could hear you, very well. Hoy, hoy sí, teacher, hasta los que no hablan. <risa> Exacto. Exacto. Esos son los trucos de Zoom para que hablen los que están callados. Ay, <risa>
Y así de ahí, no me oye la teacher. Ajá, I heard you everything. <risa> <risa> Let's see. Y saber qué le pasó. Yo creo que cuando moví buscando un lapicero fue que lo desconecté. Vaya, vamos. Mm, ok. Let's see. La chispa. Hasta se me olvidó a qué iba, fíjense. No me va a decir a pasar a Atendes, ti. atendes. Sí, ahí sí, vamos a la tienda. Vamos a ver, no, no es esta la que voy a compartir. Ah, a ver. Ah, what happened? Bueno. Okay, so we have the words, these words also in one processes. Adolfo is celebrating. <laughs> yeah. de San Miguel desde San Salvador. Okay, so we have the inbound processes. What is inbound processes? Now that you already check. Mm -hmm. It's when you bring something from outside to to your company. Okay, and you follow all of the process, right, for doing that. Yes. Okay, layout and slotting. It's when you put in order all the things that you you have in your warehouse. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. Not like the one we saw last time, right? That everything was mixed. <laughs> And in additional teacher uh -huh. to comment uh, for uh, for the slotting uh -huh. is the process to load the item in the in the warehouse to follow the tracking mm -hmm. and identifies in a way in a quick way. Okay, great. What about managing returns? What is managing returns? <clears throat> is the yeah. log logistic when something is not in the right place? Uh, for example, if the client don't doesn't want the the product the anymore, uh, he can return to the company. Mm -hmm. And the the process it calls managing returns, right? Exactly. Um, probably you you have to do a reimbursement probably or exchange it right for another one mm -hmm. or repair it and give it back yeah on the situation and the politics of the company too mm -hmm. okay and you know when when you're bringing things from another country sometimes they make this this situation of the returns and it's because suddenly they have a problem with the maybe with the chipping or something but it's very crazy that sometimes imagine the product has gone from china to colombia and then they cancel the chipping and they say that the product was returned to china that happens sometimes, right? And then they cause, when they do that, they cause a managing returns because the product went back to the original place and not getting to the customer. What is picking? That's easy. Picking? When you when you when you take each product that the final consumer are required and you put in order and to to give or to to do a, a the product are purchasing purchasing yeah purchasing sorry what about cheating Why is it called chipping if it's not always going 
through a chip. Chip so why? why is it called chipping if it's not always going through a chip? Why? Um can you repeat? Give me a second. Vamos a mover aquí, quiero. Okay. Um, my Sorry. My question is why is why why do we call it chipping? If we don't always use a chip, sometimes we use a car, a truck, a plane, or whatever other form. Ah, I got you. You say a uh, chip like the, like the name of the process, okay. like, like the name of the process, but normally ship is or will be the process the sent uh product in uh in a ship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but normally the people get the word to to say uh, the the same and call that like a process uh-huh exactly exactly that's the process right of moving something from one place to another one Packing. What's packing? Packing. Packing. Okay. When you put the product in in boxing or package or bags. Bags. Uh -huh. Wrap simply. Yeah, grabbing. Mm, grabbing. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay, now let's go to this part. Let's see. What you're going to do here is label the warehousing processes using the words from the box. Now that you know the definition, that would be a piece of cake for you. I'm going to give you one minute for you to do it and then we check. One minute. One minute only. Good. <clears throat> Packing is the first one. Okay. Packing is the first one. Yes, yes. Packing. Aha. Uh -huh. What about the second? What about number two? The goods need to be unlocked and then check it off against the original order and the information has to be lodged against the customer accounts. For me, it's a, a inbound process. Inbound process, are you sure? Yes, teacher. Maybe could be this energy could in return. Be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be loaded, has to be loaded against the customer's account. Against the customer accounts. Managing returns? Yeah. Uh -huh, exactly, that's managing returns. Oh. It's change. Okay. 
Managing returns. I'm going to make small little letter here. Mm -hmm. Okay, managing returns. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You have to <laughs> reduce. No problem. <laughs> Yes. Okay, what about number three? Mm. Number three. It items need to be checked and logged after I receive and put away in the correct bins or packet for dispatch. For dispatch without further storage. Um, correct, in, put away or packet for this part, shipping. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Sure. Maybe it could be inbound processes. Yes. Yes, inbound processes. Uh -huh. Inbound processes. Okay. Inbound processes. Okay. Um. What about number four? It must be easy for your pickers to find items and their journey time between items and between orders should be minimized. Picking. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> That's picking. Easy for your pickers to find items. And your journey time between item and between orders should be minimized. Okay. Uh, Fast moving, number five, fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. The layout and slowing? Yes, that's layout. Mm -hmm. Okay, layout and slotting. And the last one, the right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time and the right de with the right delivery manifest. What is it? Shipping left. Shipping. Mm -hmm. The last one, right? The last one that has been left there. Okay. Great, great. Okay. A ver. I need a volunteer to read the definition for packing. Packing. <coughs> What's the definition for packing? Me, teacher. Okay, yes. David. David said me, teacher, right? Mm. <laughs> no. Mauricio, man. Mauricio. No, but I if, if you, the if you want. Mauricio, but I saw David opening the microphone. If, but if you want, teacher, he can. Bye. Okay, go ahead, Mauricio. Mm. Your order must be packaged in the right. Oh, go. I'm 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 wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
packing. Mm -hmm. My bottle smells of makeup. <clears throat> I don't know why. Uh -huh. Okay. The action or process of packing something. The packing. Packing, packing. Uh, the definition in the... Aha, uh -huh, in the... Ah, okay, packing. Your orders must be packed in the right packing, complete with an accurate <clears throat> content, content slip and add to a delivery manifest for dispatch. Perfect. Managing returns. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jose Alberto. These goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order, and the information has to be loaded against uh, the customer's account. Nice. Inbound processes. Inbound processes, who? It, is, it, okay. it is need to be checked and longer <coughs> as they are received and put away in the correct bins or packet for dispatch without fewer storage. Okay, very good. Picking. <laughs> Sorry. Blessing. Thank you. Picking it's <laughs> it must be easy for your pickers to find items uh, items, and their journey's time between items and between orders should be minimized. Okay, great. Layout and slotting. I want to read that, teacher. Mm? Okay, I go want ahead. To read it, okay. Yes. Uh, fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often both together need to be close to each other. <coughs> items that are easily mistaken for each other should be separated. Excellent. <coughs> so remember we were saying how you put the things together and how you make them fit in the space you have, but not just make it fit, but also know where everything is right? And things that can be confused, separate them. Things that should go together, put them together, right? That's the layout chance slotting. Chipping. Who wants to read chipping? The right orders must be on the right vehicle at the right time with the right delivery manifest. Mm -hmm. <coughs> orders must <coughs> on the right vehicle. So vehicle. If these are going to San Miguel. So you put just the things going to San Miguel, right? And you have to watch the time and you have to check the manifest is a, it's a document, right? That keeps all the necessary information about that uh, about those products that you're taking. So everything has to be nice, complete, and ready to leave. Any questions here? Questions, questions? No questions. <coughs> no questions. Okay, check. You're going to work in pairs right now. We're going to create. We won't have, to, uh, we won't finish, right? But we're going to do the beginning check. Create a basic report detailing the results of a hypothetical analysis of issues related to the featured warehouse processes presented in the chart. So these are the warehouse processes, packing, 
managing returns, inbound processes, picking, layout and slotting, and shipping. So, teacher, teacher, go go back, please, one slide. Thank you. Okay. So, what you're going to do now is taking into account what we saw in the previous slide, create a basic report detailing the results of a hypothetical analysis of issues. What are issues? Uh, problem. Problems, exactly. After making, and when we say hypothetical, that means that it's not true, right? So we're talking about a, hy a hypothetical analysis because it's not a real analysis, right? Of issues related to the fissured warehouse processes that we saw in the previous exercise. First, write the issues and then include the suggestions, right? So first the issues, and then we will write tomorrow, we will write the suggestions to solve those issues, okay? So right now, don't worry about the transitions of result. We're going to be talking about them tomorrow. So think about the issues only. What are the issues that we may find in a warehouse? Okay. So, right? Now it's our homework. That's what you're going to do right now. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have uh, how many minutes? Oh, I'm going to give you like a, we're going to make like a brainstorm today. So I'm going to give you two minutes for you to think. I'm not going to send you to the rooms because it's just eight minutes. So as a brainstorming, mm -hmm. Think about some issues and we will write the one you tell me so we will be using them tomorrow, right? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to add a page. Yeah. Oops. What issues can you find in the warehouse? Um, um, for example, dirty conditions. Okay. Um, over, overcrowding. Okay. Let me share the page with you. Okay. Bueno, ¿qué es eso, pues? Ah. Ja, ja. A ver, ahí está. Okay. So we have, first, you told me, uh, dirty, dirty conditions, mm -hmm. overcrowding, overcrowding, somebody else. Uh huh. What about the other? Wrong inventory. Excuse me. Wrong inventory. Wrong inventory. Yes, important. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that wrong inventory takes us to overcrowding or to finish with no product, right? Mm -hmm. Another could be that the product don't have the right identification.
labeling, we can say, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not having the, la the, the right labeling or not being labeled at all. Mm -hmm. Yes, both. Are there with the, the wrong packaging? Okay. One packaging, another. <clears throat> Damaged product, teacher. Damaged product. Yes. I don't know. I don't know how to say, but is when the product has expired. Hmm. Expirate, expired. Yeah, expired yes. product. Mm -hmm. The same, it happens because of the wrong inventory, right? Uh, sometimes, and if you notice, sometimes that happens to, uh, to you, in, in a small quantity, like for those people who are always taking medicine mm -hmm. and they receive a quantity of medicine every month. And instead of using the old one, they come and they bring the new one and they start drinking or taking the new pills and they leave the others there. When they come and see six months later, those pills are expired. Right, imagine, and I'm putting that into an example because they're thinking about uh, happening in a small quantity, right? Just you and your pills. <laughs> imagine in a warehouse where you may have lots of things, quantities, big quantities of things. Okay, one more, one more, one more. No more. Mm -hmm. What about having too many returns? That would be a problem too, right? Yes. That the customers are returning product too much. Mm hmm Okay. Baja, these are uh, problems that we're going to be using tomorrow. Tomorrow you will give them a solution. Did what you chair? One more. Yeah. Victor? Is the, okay, is the... How to say it? the bad rotation of the inventory. Mm, okay. Bad rotation of the inventory, great. Nice, nice. Bash, I have, we, we have two, four, six, nine, right? We have nine objects. Or one more for the 10. Okay, one more for the 10. Uh, cool. And when you send uh, the product um, in the wrong place. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. nice. Good, we have 10. Tomorrow, we are going to be giving uh, solutions to these 10 uh, problems, right? That way, right? Okay, well, I'm going to stop sharing. <clears throat> Let's go for the last attendance of the day. You sure did that is used, teacher? Hmm? You want to? You okay. said sure. I can share the issues with you. 
I'm going to paste them in the in the chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to see them tomorrow to give a solution, right? Okay. Let's see uh, Adolfo Rivas. Hi, teacher. See you tomorrow. Present. Adriana Maria. Present, teacher. Adriana Sofia. <laughs> Present. Ana. Present, teacher. Brenda Alexander. Sofia Guadalupe. Antonio. Who let the dogs out? Cantele, <laughs> who let the dogs out? Solo un pedacito me puedo ir. <laughs> José Alberto. Present teacher. Yes. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No está. José Arnoldo. Thank you Present. for ignoration nuevamente, teacher. ¿Mm? Gracias por ignorarme nuevamente. Yeah. ¿A quién? Oh, really? David. Yeah, really. Oh my God, David. Qué barbaridad. Second day. <laughs> the second time this week. <laughs> Es que es para ver si me está poniendo atención. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> ok, David. David Alexander, present. Present. Ok, José Arnoldo. Here, no here. Present. Ok. Calita. Present, teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Mauricio. Ya se fue, Mauricio. <coughs> Nubia. Present teacher. Present teacher, present teacher. Saúl. Sulmayanet. Present. Okay. Present. Victor. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok. Vaya, hoy le toca a Pedro porque no estuvo ayer. Ok, teacher. Okay. Bueno, see Good you night. tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you. Bye, bye. bye. Good night. 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 José Alfredo. Okay. Uh, Pedro, do you have any questions, any comments? Mm, no, no, not really. Okay. How do I you just... feel the, the platform? You're new, right, Pedro? Yes, I am new. This is my oh. first time. How do you feel the 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 platform? Uh, easy, easy. It's not a problem to me. It's not a problem, right? It's very friendly. It's very yeah. very easy to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At this time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. At this time, yeah. And I was checking yesterday. Let me see how you're doing. You are in unit number three. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. I see you did the, the two units, the exam, and you are in the middle of unit number three. That's perfect. You're exactly in the right place in unit three. Nice. Yeah, but I I I I have a question uh -huh. in the three point 
I don't remember. But uh, but it's one uh, item, and then I answer correctly, but it don't. Oh, it doesn't give it correct. No, it doesn't give me all the points. Ooh. Mark correct, but don't give me the points. Mm -hmm. Give me fifteen over twenty. Oh, that I don't know why. You say it's three points. I don't remember. Uh, you can see uh, all the progress in, in the unit three. I have 95 over 100. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and there is a, a one, but I don't remember what is the point. Unit three or unit three? Three, okay. three, yes. Three. Okay, unit three. The first one is about the warehouse management, stock control, distribution center, cross docking center, warehouse. Let me that's, check. Right? That's 3.1. No. 3.2. Mm. Select it's... five common issues related to warehouse processes. Let me see. Let me see. Money three. Unit three. Let me see. It is. Yeah, the 3.9. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in general housekeeping, I mark the A through G and the number two, false and other preventable mishaps. Okay. I mark B and to H. And three, manual lifting, D, F, H, G, D, C, four, four lift <laughs> and material handling equipment. I mark C to E and all are green, but- uh, But it uh, doesn't count. I, I don't know. Me dice parcialmente correcto, 15 sobre 20 puntos. Pero no sé por qué dice parcialmente correcto porque todos están verdes. Okay, and they are only three questions, right? Yep. I don't know if it can be, uh, I mistake one and try again, and maybe that uh, second time you, I, I try correctly, uh, maybe doesn't give, uh, the, the platform don't uh, give me uh, the, all the points, I don't know. Uh, let me see. No, no. You know what happened. That they didn't put uh, four questions. That's why. And each question uh, has five points. I'm going to report that. Because uh -huh, as the, as it doesn't have the four points that they usually put, as they, they put four points, Five, 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 at the end you get 20, right? But in this yeah. case, it has only three. Ah. Like if there was a problem with adding the question number three, so at the end, eh, that's why. Uh -huh. I understand, yeah. The number three and number four uh, unites. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It is it, it, supposed to be separately, oh, separately. It's, mm, oh, uh -huh. um, you, you can see this is number three, this. manual lifting and, and sign, sign, <laughs> D, F, H, G, D, C, sign, sign. And then number four, forklifts and material handling equipment. Oh. That four, I don't have the question. Uh huh. I'm going to report it because it doesn't. It won't give you more because it, it you have only one 
option to choose an answer for three and right. four, right? Right, right, right. right. We're very good detectives. <laughs> <laughs> that way to report it. Okay. Vamos a ver. Teacher, uh, when we finish the we other December fifth. On December fifth. December fifth. Ah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, classes only have the another the other week. Next week. And Next before. week, and then uh, five in December. The uh, fifth December is it's Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That day yes. we finish. Exactly. We have class. On Monday. We have class that day. Yeah, we have class that day. And on that day, there is a document that we regularly complete on the last day of class. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So okay, there, okay. Is, there is a a, a a a procedure, right? A process that we mm -hmm, have mm -hmm. to complete that is part of of INSAFOR. and we have to do it in okay. class together that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we will check it on on Monday, next Monday, and we complete it together. It's uh, a letter of satisfaction of the program, right. but it has to be complete all together in class. You cannot okay. do it alone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we have and to and to answer the final exam. I have to wait to other to the other week, or I can no, no, answer. No, no, you can start because uh, the final exam has unit one, unit two, unit three, and unit four, and it is the same as the midterm exam that it has four parts. So you can start doing it, no problem. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. You don't have to wait until the end. You can do it before. Uh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. This is 2.9, right? Sí. Yes. No, 3.9. These temas, these uh, subjects of uh, logistics and all that, it's uh, very easy to understand when we uh, discuss with uh, another uh, uh, student, another uh, compañero, yeah, <laughs> who knew about it, about them. Uh -huh. For example, uh, Adriana Sofia. She understand the, that I that subjects very 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 well, and she explains very easy uh -huh, exactly. because she works in that. And and when I have to work with in groups with her, I uh, it's very easy to me understand more <laughs> the, uh -huh. that that kind of time. Also. Because she knows what she's talking about. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. That is true. That is true. And and you see, there are, for example, right now everything is is related to warehouse and logistics mm -hmm. and all those things. Yeah. So some people probably it would be like, ouch, that's something totally new, right? But for some yeah. others, it's like, uh -huh, it's that, that is what I regularly do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand because in my career, when I study, <laughs> I, I see all that in, 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 in some terms, I understand. And uh, another compañeros uh, who wow. understand this, uh, partners who understand this is uh, Mauricio and uh -huh. David. Big they understand teams. very well these, mm -hmm. these, these subjects. Yes. Yeah, because they work in that area. 
as yeah. they work in that area, for them it is it it becomes easier. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, intermediate four, it's about business, it, money. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is a course that has a complete unit talking about uh, accounting vocabulary mm. uh -huh. okay. and that is hard that is hard mm. because yeah. uh, we are not all as experts talking about money yeah. uh -huh. then that becomes yeah. a little bit more difficult but we're all learning <laughs> yeah. learning, de por sí, de por sí, yeah. de por sí, esos temas son difíciles en español y en inglés todavía peor. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. But it's But. you're learning vocabulary and structure and topics about uh, logistics in this case uh, at yeah. the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, course yeah. number one and number two were more about business. Oh, okay. were business, all related to the the idea of business and all that thing. But this one came more on the on the side of the logistics. So every course has like a, a topic where they work, right, and they concentrate on. Mm -hmm. But that's the idea okay. that you learn a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, Pedro, I don't know if you have any other comment or question. No, no, that's it. Okay, perfect. I already reported the problem. So okay. let's hope that by tomorrow they can see it, right? And, and check it. All right. Okay. I, I, I try to be checking. Uh, mm -hmm. In, an, in, I don't know, in two days? Maybe yeah, it's, something a, it's something like that. So, if no Saturday, because Saturday is the day when they regularly monitor the platform. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe Monday. I, I guess it will be before. As soon as I see that, that it is fixed, I'm going to let you know. So you can go. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice day. See you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.